been a while since we've done a video but uh, it's been even longer since we had one of these give us a thumbs up if you like these videos uh, and you want to see more so this is for those who haven't spotted already an auto sleeper it's a harmony so of the van conversions this is often the most popular because of the two seat belts and the two forward facing seats in the back with proper seat belts it's only a two berth van so there's a real rarity two berth with four belts we see lots of four berth with two belts and six berth with two belts and what have you but this is the uh, the full package um, also we've got wind out canopy there now it is a um, 1.9 turbo diesel um, it's a 1995 um, and the gearbox works absolutely perfectly we've got loads of history um, book packs there etc uh, we've also got two keys with it there's the original auto sleeper manual um, as you can see these front seats do spin round giving you uh, a great communal area there's the small table there I think there's a big table somewhere as well so this side folds down to make a sofa if you wanted to you've got your single bed there with the front seat folded you've got another single bed on on this side or you can use that cushion over there put it in the middle and make a double bed sleeping across the van um, but we'll uh, we'll stick on the outside for now you've got a cassette toilet there your windy canopy so there is a couple of little spots look where there's a, a bit of corrosion I'm sure somebody with a, a wire brush and a bit of uh, touch-up paint could certainly improve that drastically um, usually there's paint fade on here but this has all been re redone there's a rear sort of uh, nudge bar and bump and uh, toe bar on there makes it look quite low at the back but that's because that bar that steps hanging down really low now this is probably the most disappointing bit there's a some of that's perished and cracked so you know that could really do with someone spending a bit of time on it rectifying it and probably getting a nice big cowling like this to go round rather than trying to paint it and obviously treat it for rust and get it all put back right uh, but then put a piece of cowling or a nice big stick around the electric hookup with some danger arrows or something um, but the rest of it the stickers are a little bit flaky but the black is all intact there it's not cracked or split um, probably do with a couple of tyres on the front we'll probably fit those we'll probably put a couple of tyres on it um, but there we go so it's not bad there is just that electric hookup point that's that's a bit disappointing um, now inside lovely two burner hob there and we've got a, a grill as well no oven all comes tested and checked uh, gas gas certified etc um, electric system and the water systems all checked as well as you can see there's hot and cold water and you've got your three-way fridge fridge looks nice and clean which quite remarkable I've seen vans half the age and the fridges be absolutely uh, filthy but there you go again that'll all be checked and sorted and certified there's your control panel at the back very simple water level 12 volts on and off water pump on and off and a little light there to tell you when you're plugged in to uh, to mains but yeah you can see there there is individual light switches on those as well there's your heating it's propex gas and you've got your hot water tucked away in there um most remarkable thing on a van this size is there's a proper bench loo toilet roll tucked away in there so it doesn't get wet up here we've got a little sink very compact again hot and cold water um, I do wonder why they bother putting a, a, a bathroom sink in because you could literally stand with a hand in each sink at the same time but um, hey ho uh, your shower there is a proper little shower and a shower curtain that is your rafter um, there which is uh, to tension your um, your canopy there's a foldy out piece just here this just uh, gives you a bit of privacy if you go into the, the bathroom I mean obviously 
if you're away in a motorhome like this you're probably going to know whoever you're away with pretty well but if you do go for a shower and you don't want to shut every blind on the van you can simply shut that blind pull the curtains across and uh, put your double doors across there it gives you a space to get changed and dressed um, without trying to do it in a tiny cupboard yeah you've got blackout blinds and fly screens on all the windows again they all come checked um, oh, let's just have a... maybe there isn't another table with it there's just that one that one table that's there um, but uh, there you go but yeah lovely little van oh space for your TV up here we've got an extractor up there in and out um, but yeah curtains around the cab five speed all the gears working properly a lovely little compact original auto sleeper factory conversion so there you go guys um, oh 70,000 miles so hardly uh, hardly excessive mileage for something of this age but there you go give us a thumbs up give us a like come back and see more videos thank you very much